Okay, I'm going to have you grab your second to lightest loop band and you're going to bring it around your wrists and you're going to come to lie on your back supine. So you're lying all the way down on your back and the arms are going to go overhead, all the way overhead with the wrists in the band and we're going to move into what I call banana pose. You're going to take your legs to one corner of the mat, sliding them over like a banana, and you'll bring your upper body in the same direction, pulling out on that band, palms facing in towards each other, plugging the shoulders down. Go ahead and cross the leg that's closer to the center of the mat over the outside leg. Cross the ankles and try to guide that hip down towards the floor, getting into the hip flexor. If this is too intense, you can take the cross out of the equation and just keep the legs together. Focus on your breath here. See if you can arch your low back a little, extending your tailbone towards your feet, and then add a little movement of your torso by lifting your upper body back up to center and then bending it again. So you're sliding the body along the floor, just the upper body. You exhale, bend the upper body, creating a deeper C shape or banana shape, and then you bring your torso back upright and center. Exhale to bend, sliding the body along the floor. Inhale, bring it back to center. So the legs are held isometrically and the upper body is moving and active. This will help you recruit the external obliques. Make sure you're breathing. Hear your breath. Go ahead and switch sides, setting up for your banana pose on the other side. Cross the ankles if possible, trying to guide that hip down to the floor, opening up your hip flexors. Use your wrist to pull out on the band, palms facing in, plug the shoulders down. Think about your low back arching a little, creating some space between the low back and the floor. Try to imprint your shoulder blades into the floor, centering the head. And check in with your breathing. Inhale through the nose or mouth and exhale out the mouth, creating an ujjayi sound, the ocean breath. Again, inhale, two, three, four, ujjayi breath. Option to move the body, sliding it up and sliding it back into the bend or stay where you are, just allowing the body to release into the posture. Be here for another 15 seconds using that ujjayi breath. On your next inhale, you'll slowly bring the legs and body back to center and set, set that band to the side. Grab your small anti-burst ball and you're going to place it between your knees. Now, if you have a tight low back, you may want to bolster handy. We're going to be doing some twisting for the abdominals. We're not going to be holding the twist down, but maybe that, that um, can be a marker if you put it to one of your sides as to how far the knee's windshield wiper to the side. So we're still lying supine on our backs. We've got the ball between the inner thighs up near the groin area, and our hands are in a T position out to the side, palms facing up. Take a moment to plug your shoulders down, reach your tailbone towards the bottom of the mat, and inhale the legs up to tabletop. Flex your feet. Take one hand under your low back. Is your low back flat against the floor? Can you tip the tailbone towards the bottom of the mat and create some extension? We want to try to maintain that and get to that position every time the legs come up. So you're going to exhale and use your inner thighs and low abs to tick-tock the knees to your right. And then you're going to hold it here. Inhale one, breathe. Exhale, pulse in on the ball. Two, three, four. And inhale, bring the legs back up to center. And that's all it is. We'll alternate sides. Exhale, taking the knees to the other side. Holding it down. Reinforce that extension in your pelvis. Squeeze in on the ball. And then inhale, lift back up to center. Great. Watch out for the climbing shoulders. Keep them pressing down the spine. Soften the sternum in towards the back body. Pull the low belly in and make sure the knees track over the hips when they come up, that they're not getting farther, closer to your chest. That's going to increase the load on the lower abdominals. Tip your tailbone towards the bottom of the mat. Hear that breath. Inhaling to lift. 
and exhaling to lower. We have one full breath at the bottom where you breathe in and you squeeze in on that ball with those nice little pulses. Feet are dorsiflexed like a dorsal fin. Engage those feet. Give me one more set on both sides using that breath. You're doing great. Hang in there. And once you've completed those, you can roll off to one side, hold on to that ball, and come up to a seated position. Now, this is going to be an extra challenge for your core. And what I want you to remember more than anything, that your, your back, your low back position is the most important component of this exercise. So I want you to think about your arching in that low back. So when you're in a seated posture, because of the tightness in your hamstrings, we tend to round the low back. So I want you to sit up tall on your mat, place the ball back between the inner thighs, knees are pointing up to the ceiling, heels are down, toes are flexed. And from here, we're going to stretch our arms out in front of us like Frankenstein, palms facing forward. We're gonna hinge back a few inches, tipping the tailbone back, hinge the upper back back, and extend one shin out in front of you, flexing the foot. Squeeze the ball, hold it here, inhale one, breathe, and exhale one. Palms facing in towards one another. Inhale two. And exhale, lower that shin down. Switching sides. Come on up to a tall seated position. Inhale. Exhale, hinge back. Tip the tailbone back. Extend the other shin. Hold it up. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Good. Inhale two. Exhale two. Lower the shin. Inhale back up to your tall seated position. One more time on each side. Tip the tailbone back. Exhale, hinge back, inner thighs pull you back, extend the shin, inhale, pelvis reaches towards the front of the mat, abs in, and good, bend the knee, put the foot back down, inhale, lift up, pelvis pulls down as you come up, last time, take it back, hinging back, lower abs in, extend the shin, flex the foot, inhale one, breathe, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, and inhale, lift up as the pelvis pulls down, great. From here, let's make our way onto all fours, our hands and our knees. You're going to need your second to heaviest loop band around your upper arms, above your elbows. In the Uniquely Fit set, that's, this is our purple band. And it goes above the elbows. This is going to help us engage our scapular stabilizers. So both arms right above the elbows and not too high because then it's going to be in the way of your head. So right above the elbows. Make your way onto all fours, hands and knees. Pull out on that band, feeling your scapular stabilizers. From here, arch your back, sending your chin and chest up and your tailbone back. Pull the abs in. Hold it there. Inhale one. Breathe. Exhale one. Inhale two. Stay here. Exhale two. Look up. Brace your abs. Inhale three. Exhale three. Inhale four. Exhale four. Abs are tight. Inhale five. Exhale, five. Stepping back into a plank. Keep that band on. Step yourself back into a plank. If you have back issues, keep your feet hip distance apart. If you don't, you can have your legs together. Pull the low abs in. Pull out on that band. Press down and out into, press down into the hands and pull out on the band. From here, inhale, prepare. Exhale, tap the knees to the floor. Both knees at the same time. Inhale, lift them up. Exhale, tap them down. Inhale, reach the pelvis to the feet as you lift them up. Great. Exhale, tap down. Inhale, lift up. And exhale, tap down. Inhale, lift up. And one more time. Exhale, tap down. And inhale, lift up. From here, lower onto your knees, rise up onto your knees, bring your hands to your hips, glide that band down to your wrist. So it's going to stay on your wrist, palms facing in. Take the arms overhead, tuck your toes under, tuck your toes under. Good. From here, inhale, pull your pelvis down towards the floor, pulling those low abs in, and exhale, side bending to your right. Bend over, hold it here, inhale one, breathe. Exhale one, pull out on that band, turn your head down on the diagonal or up on the diagonal, whatever feels best on your neck. Inhale two, exhale two, and inhale back up to center, pulling your pelvis towards the floor. If the knees hurt, roll the mat up a, a couple of times and rest um, your knees on that. 
bending to the other side, take it over, exhale, pulling out on the band, hold it here, inhale one, breathe, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale back up to center, pull the pelvis down as you come up one more time to the right, take it over, hold it here, inhale one, breathe, exhale one, inhale two, exhale two, inhale back up to center and last time on the second side, Pull those low abs in, bending, hold it here. Inhale one, breathe, exhale one. Inhale two, exhale two, and inhale, bring it back up to center. Set that band to the side. Great job. 